Medical cannabis bills have been around Tennessee's Capitol Hill for a long time, but very rarely have they gotten any traction. But things change, and at that, sometimes change is a good thing. Tennessee State Senator Janice Bowling once polished her conservative rural Republican credentials by calling herself a pistol-packing mama, so it raised a few eyebrows, including her own, when she stood with another conservative Republican as sponsor of a bill legalizing medical cannabis or marijuana. If I told you a year ago, uh, talking about my view to legalize medical cannabis, I would have said, well, I would have said probably something other than the script says, but I would say you're out of your mind. The senator said it was constituents clamoring for pain relief and looking into research that changed her mind, but Republican Governor Bill Lee distanced himself from medical cannabis on the campaign trail and reiterated Friday what he would like to do first instead of legalizing medical cannabis. I think what we ought to do is expand the use of uh, low THC CBD oils and look first to alternative treatments uh, before we go there. Two doctors who double as Republican state lawmakers also have proposed a bill with a catchy name, the Trump Act. Tennesseans responsibly using medicinal plants drew attention, but at its heart, both doctors have long held that medical cannabis can help ease dependence on opioids. If there is one constant to be said about medical cannabis up here, it does seem that support is increasing. Reporting from the state capitol, Chris Bungard, Local 24 News.